Okay, from Kroger's, which is that building down there <laughs> on the next corner, um, the four-story building, uh, whitish, tannish, whitish, tan-colored building, um, this whole block right here, this whole block, is where the corner is happening, Michigan, it was the Fish Auto Automobile Company the first auto automobile showroom in the nation across the street right here now a blood uh, plasma center was the first automobile college in the world as well as a Cadillac dealer we're gonna go up Capitol Avenue right here right now and this was at one time the first automobile showroom in America I didn't say the right thing I meant to say auto mall in America First auto mall. Now, I don't know what this building here was, but it was something that, that got replaced. Again, that's the old uh, uh, Auto Tech College and Cadillac uh, dealership. Over here is a uh, former uh, tire manufacturing, not so much manufacturing, but tire installation operation. Um, that on the corner over there is the old original um, from back in the day where sh the Chevrolet guys worked on their automobiles um, for races and things like that and uh, um, they were some of the first winners of the Indy 500 races and they did it in that uh, garage right there in the corner against Chevrolet. I don't know what this building was. Um, I don't know what this building was. This building right here, a plumbing supply operation, um, pretty uh, elegant looking operation, uh, uh, not so much operation, but elegant looking architecture or something. Right there where it says, huh, that's the Zesco right there, the old uh, um, Goodyear tire and rubber operation. Um, the tires were not made, they were, they were sold and, and uh, put on cars at that, that place. Back there, <coughs> and that's the cultural trail we just passed over. And that was what's there. All these buildings you are seeing along here were uh, some form of, uh, they, they catered to the uh, uh, the car industry in some way or the other. Uh, you drove your car from a long distance away and you came to Indianapolis, you can get it painted, you can get it upholstered, you can get batteries put in, you can get tires put on. All that stuff was going on here on what it was called Auto Row. So we're going to keep going on here all the way up to the green now i can do this because today is a coded covid 19 day um not many people or cars are out um so um these are buildings that uh um, obviously have been renovated i don't know what that one was i should wish that there um, those are back of my mind was a casket maker um they made funeral caskets so that was not one of the one of the businesses on the street. But there was not a uh, auto-related operation. Um, no telling what that was. Those apartments are pretty uh, old-time, trendy. I don't know what that was. Oh, wait, wait. This was the old casket operation right there. Um, I believe that I'm in a bus lane right now. So I've got a bus that's passing me, and he gave me some horn activity. And uh, so uh, that was the... Uh, um, the rapid transit, bus rapid transit here in Indianapolis. Uh, the green building you see up there with all the flags on it is the uh, former Stutz uh, automobile manufacturing operation. And they were at one time the king of the, uh, the auto world. Largely for the reason that they won the uh, Indy 500 a few times and made the very first eight cylinder engine, uh, things like that. Pretty ginormous facility. Now it is an art center and a kind of a collective where people have their own businesses and do things like that with it. Um, you know, examples like this is heavyweights right there. I don't know what that is. Um, lucid, something or the other. There's a lucid tattoo. Uh, neither here nor there kind of stuff going on, but nothing to do with auto. But this was all at one time discussed of automobile operation concern. So um, it seems that we've reached the end of Auto Row, and uh, uh, there's a, 
freeway was telling me we reached the end of our road. And I hope this podcast, not a podcast, this call, this cause I tutor a lot of the road. I'll sit well with you. Okay, thanks.